Unicorn, unicorn, you can run fast. Unicorn, unicorn, run fast. and welcome to another vlog so today is Sunday and I haven't vlogged the last few days because I've done like a recipe video and I've just been like not feeling like vlogging basically so the first clip you saw was of me and Elisa doing a jigsaw that was yesterday and then today I've just been cleaning and I had lion this morning so it's just been a bit of a weird few days like it's just got to that point where I'm just like oh my gosh can this but, be over already yeah but today, but today scribbled on a door and the fridge and everything yeah so Issa has scribbled everywhere basically so he scribbled all over here all over here he's just been crazy and he's also done here but that won't come off and also here I need to do that again and then here and then all over this table so I've just been going around with the pink stuff trying to scrub everything off and he, went, he wrote all the way up the stairs with crayon so I've been trying to wrote, got, I've got rid of all of that but yeah it's just a long process because I don't know how he just like he always finds a crayon and just scribbles everywhere even though I try to put all the crayons away but anyway let's get on with this video so I'm going to be making healthy chocolate banana muffins so they're made with banana obviously and they're just slightly healthier than normal muffins so we're going to make those at least wants to bake but i'm so sick of baking because i'm just eating so much naughty like icing and sugar and things like that so i thought that making muffins healthier banana muffins would be better than making like chocolate cakes or whatever so yeah that's what we're going to be making today the recipe is good as usual i will share the recipe down below so you can go make the same thing if you want to so yeah let's get this started i'm gonna get all the ingredients ready so that it's easy for when elisa get, comes and helps me so we are going to be making half of the recipe because i don't want too many baked things even if they are healthy they're just slightly healthier they're not 100 percent healthy so we are going to just make three half banana. of the recipe yes yeah, so it says three bananas so we're going to use one and a half bananas potato masher for breaking our bananas up so push it down really hard Vanilla, so we're gonna add a little bit of vanilla. Perfect, keep going. Mash it, tap it, mash it, tap it. flour because we don't have any whole wheat flour so it's 
it's okay. Everything else is slightly healthier, so it's okay. So I didn't film any of it, but we've been sorting out this room, look at this. Basically, we're looking for some solution. So we've tried to hang up a rail here, but this wall is just falling to pieces. You know how this did? This is happening too, over here. So basically, this, I've ordered some bits that is gonna help us foot fit a rail, which is over here right now. Um, but then we've moved the kitchen and everything over there. And me and Elisa were just setting it up a little bit. Still need to go through all the shelves and everything, but it's looking a lot better than it did. But yeah, somewhere else for the kids to play without having, you know, things falling over things. So yeah, that's what we're doing. And we've just ordered food from Mac Halal, um, and I'm gonna go and eat now. I love burgers. You love burgers now. Mm -hmm. mm. Ah, So it is Monday now and we are just doing some activities, Ooh. it is 10 something in the morning and we've had breakfast, we've had a little play with toys, yeah? What are all animals? I don't know, we don't have to put all animals but you can just put how many you want in each circle. Okay. So Elisa is doing this activity which I saw on Instagram and it is a counting one so she is going to be putting pom poms into each of these circles as many as the number in the middle says aren't you is that good some Issa is doing some coloring on the other side of the table <laughs> Mom, is this eight? how many count them you count them for me no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you have to take one away. That's it. So you've got eight different things in there. So now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yay, good job. So now you have to put how many, what number is this one? One. One. So how many things do you need to put in there? One. One. So you can put one hedgehog. No, what number is that? Four. Four. So how many do you have to put in there? Two, three, and four. Yeah, good job. And now what is this number? Five. Yeah. One, two, three, four, and five. Good job. And then, oops. What is this number? One, two, three. Three. Good job. Come on then. You sir? Let me put some some boxes. Uh, uh, not on the table, boy. Okay, he just wants to draw on the table all the time. You did it. Oh, well done. You put five in there and three in there. 
Good girl, that is perfect. Do you want to do some more? Yeah, a little bit. I want to do some ten. Okay, let's do some more numbers. <laughs> what are you doing? Four. Good job. That's a circle. Well done, baby. It's okay, it's okay. Yes. Good. Well done. So we've moved on into the kitchen and we're doing another activity. What are we doing now, Lisa? It's slime. What are we doing? Slime. Making slime. So, we don't have a lot of glue, but we're going to try this anyway because Elisa really wants to make slime, so that's what we're going to do. So right now we've got this, and it's beautiful, and now we're going to add some, this is borax, like this thing here, and is we're going to add a little bit at a time, and then Elisa's going to mix it and it's going to turn to slime. Oh my gosh, look at that, it's already working. Keep going, keep mixing it lots and lots. <laughs> This is how our slime is looking. It looks so good, doesn't it, baby? Okay, she's being crazy with it. We need to add a bit more borax to that, I think. It is a little bit later now and I have done a lot since I last saw you, I'm not even going to lie. We came upstairs and we were playing for ages. I was playing with the kids in the other room in the kitchen, the little kitchen. And then I came in here and I was like, mate, this room needs to be sorted. I've actually been planning to do this room for a few days because every time Elisa goes to bed, the last few nights she's been sneezing and coughing like as soon as she gets into bed. So I was thinking... Um, that must be because of the dust that has gathered behind the headboard, on the headboard, that kind of thing. So I hoovered all of the headboard. I took the mattress off the bed, hoovered the mattress, hoovered under the bed, hoovered and moved the whole bed. Like I literally took the mattress off, moved the base of the bed all the way to the other side of the room. Then just kept moving everything, vacuuming underneath everything. And it's all dust free now. I'm so happy about it. Also, I was like, I want to move the wardrobes to this wall, but the bed, basically, if we put the bed here, the wardrobes would go there, but there wouldn't be space to open the door that's here. 
because the bed would be in the way kind of thing so we've decided to just leave that there and then move those two around just so there's a little change in the room and yeah so this is what it's looking like now I kind of really like it like this because we've got loads of space here which will probably be taken up by errors um, but there's no washing going on right now so they're over there now that my camera's charged a little bit I thought I'd bring you along and finish off doing little bits in this room like Look how disgusting these mirrors are. I'm going to clean those. Also, there's like scuffs on the walls and like, I don't know if you can see, but there's just like little bits on the walls where you've just like got handprints and stuff. And also over here. So I've got my pink stuff and I've also got a minky and this is a really good way to remove that kind of thing off walls. And also like, I don't even know, there's like, weird things going on here and it just is just looking a bit gross so instead of painting the whole room again i thought i'd just try and get rid of some of the dirt off the walls with that we'll see how it goes but i'm gonna do the mirrors first so whenever i do my mirrors i always use these things this is the karcher window vac everyone always asks me whenever i use this in a video what is that what what are you using where can i get it from so i will leave a link to this in the description of this video it's basically the same thing this one is the 50th anniversary of karcher that that kind of edition i don't even know it's like a special edition but it's exactly the same as the yellow one so that is what is going to be linked in the description and yeah let's go so basically i just spray this all over wipe it as much as i can and um, get rid of all the like the marks on there and then with this, this just squeegees everything off and vacuums up all the water so you don't, you're don't you not left with a mess. And then I've got a little cloth as well, which I'm going to be just getting all the little bits and the corners and, you know, the things that this doesn't get. So that's what I'm going to do now. <laughs> Also, I thought I would tell you that in here, I've literally put like a drop of fairy liquid and some warm water. Okay, so that is much better than how it was. That literally took me less than five minutes to do all of those mirrors. Okay, so all the mirrors in this room are now done. I'm gonna start doing the pink stuff and my minky right now. So where shall I start? Let's start over here. So now that that is all done, I'm going to sit here and edit a vlog and upload a vlog and that kind of thing. So the last few days have been really crazy. I have just not felt like vlogging. I've just felt really like lethargic, like I just want to sleep all the time. Obviously I can't because I've got the kids, so I'm just trying to like juggle being tired and the cleaning, the washing, the kids. Oh my gosh, guys. Is there anyone else who just feels like the sink is never empty? 
I feel like it's a lot worse now. It's just crazy. There's never, ever, ever a time where there's nothing in the sink. The housework that we're having to do now is just absolutely mental. You'd think that it'd be easier now that we're all at home and we're doing not much else. Well, obviously you're doing things, obviously, because you've got the kids, but because the kids can't go out and, you know, they've just got to be at home all day, it's just like nothing really ever gets done because you're always with the kids or, you know, you're just always busy trying to make food or the last few days have been very stressful. I don't know if it's like that for anyone else, but I think the first few days were fine, but then it kind of just caught up with me a little bit and now it's kind of just, I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna be having a lot of these kind of ups and downs where a few days I don't feel like doing anything at all, which is why I haven't vlogged. Um, and then suddenly I'll be like, yep, yeah, I wanna vlog again, <laughs> like today. So um, yeah, that's basically what's been going on with me. Um, but yeah, tell me about you guys. Tell me how you're dealing with life inside the house. Let me know what your life is like right now. Are you staying at home all day or do you have to go to work? But yeah, I'm just gonna carry on editing this vlog now and I will speak to you in a bit. So I'm downstairs now and we are about to cut Elisa's hair using the Brad Mondo on YouTube tutorial of how to cut your own hair. So I'm gonna do it on Elisa. So I've prepped her hair a little bit, done two of the hair bands, and I've gotta do the rest of it and then I'm gonna snip it. end of this video it is the next day now I didn't end the video because I just didn't <laughs> but thank you so much for watching go watch some more videos of mine if you like and I will see you in my next video bye Mommy, I'm